Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I have what I think is gonna be a fun video today. I have partnered with Playtronica for this video. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, it's because uh, I did an unboxing video of one of their products last year. It was called the Touch Me and a really cool little product. But Playtronica has another product that's not even out yet that they partnered with myself and several other YouTube channels to help launch it. And the product is right here. It's called the Biotron. And it is a bioelectric composition device that's designed to interact with plants. So you can see I've got a plant back here, which we will have it interact with shortly. Um, but I love this packaging. Just look, first of all, it's, it's sort of in the shape of a plant cell, which is really neat. Um, but I love how you open this. Check this out. You pull on this tab right here. Bam, look at that. Instructions are right here. Here's the Biotron. Once you pop it out, the help address is right there if you need to get started. Uh, such a cool little, uh, you know, packaging idea. So got to give it to Playtronica for that. But here is the device, right? So just a thin little circuit board. The only IO we see is this USB port. We've got some sensors here and whatnot. Now I'm going to give you just a very quick piece of uh, transparency here. I, ha I have already taken this out of the box because when they sent these out, they sent an email to all of their testers that said, make sure you update the firmware before you do the video. So I did have to take it out, update the firmware and put it back in. Um, and let me just tell you that updating the firmware was very simple. So that's always good. In addition to the device, it also includes these here. These are these 10 sensors with these, uh, uh, cables with the alligator clips. Um, these are how you interact with the plant and they actually will attach right here and right here to the Biotron. So of course they're in the Playtronica colors as well. So I guess the next thing to do is let's go ahead and plug it into the computer and uh, get a listen to it. Okay, so here's our Biotron and this USB-C cable is plugged into my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. It should power on. We see some lights there. And then this here, this here and this here are actually touch sensitive buttons. So they actually will change parameters. This one's a mute. And then these two change other parameters of the melodies that it creates. So the first thing that we're supposed to do is take our little sensors here and hook them to our plant. So let's try that. And they say to make sure the sensors are at least two centimeters apart, which if you put them on any two leaves, they should be. So I'm gonna hook that one right here. Good golly. There we go. And then this one, so I'll put it over here. And I will hook that one right here. And then now we see it's lighting up, it's doing a calibration. And they said it should calibrate once it decides. And then when it starts doing the heartbeat things, that means it's calibrated. So now it should be able to produce music. Okay, now you configure this through their website. So once you plug it into your computer, if you pull up their website, and it has to be pulled up in Google Chrome, by the way, it doesn't work in other browsers, but you'll see here any Biotrons that you have selected. Um, the reason that two show up is because it has two different channels, but they said if, if two show up to just select port one, and then you can adjust all of the parameters within the Biotron here. And then if you change anything, you click send, and that will send it to the Biotron. Um, if you need to update firmware, you would click here to update it. So as I mentioned earlier, I had to do that because this was a test one sent out, but you can turn certain features on and off. Um, you know, you can do different things over here with like what you want to do. You can change your strength of various things. You can change the BPM that it's using, um, all these different things. And then once you change something, let's click humanize. I don't even know what that does, but let's try it. And then you click send, and then that will send it to the Biotron. So it's using those settings. There we go. So now I should have just updated my Biotron. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go to synth.playtronica.com and all of these synths that they have listed here should uh, work with the Playtronica products. So let's pick one here. Uh, let's pick DS, DX7. I always like DX7. So when I load that, it should, we'll select the Biotron here and it should, there we go. So the Biotron is now interacting through the uh, MIDI over web. It's interacting with the web page and the plant. So as I touch the plant, we 
see that should change the melodies that it's producing. And then these buttons, we can try these. This one's a mute. So I push that, it mutes. And then one of these changes the scale. See what happens if we take this sensor off and move it to a different leaf so they're now further apart oh that changed let's try a different leaf over here Ooh. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. Let's try a different synth here. So I'm gonna go back. go so now we can hear the biotron interacting with the plant that's interesting it mutes when I get close Let's try this one, Victor NV1. Let's try this one. Yeah, there we go. we can do here is we can go back to the Biotron settings here and we can change something like we can make it slower we can change this I'm not even sure what that does we can lessen the sensitivity no, increase the sensitivity change the first value let's see we can go to a Dorian scale that off and I'm gonna turn that off and then let's send this to the Biotron and now we hear it's doing something very different One other thing that I want to try here, um, since it is supposedly just the MIDI standard that is transmitting over this cable, it should work with any MIDI device. So I'm going to launch uh, a digital audio workstation here. Going to create a new track. Let's create a MIDI track and create that. There we go. So let's choose. Um, let's choose like a synth pad here. Like how about this one? That is cool. Oh man. That's so cool. Let's try a different pad here. What about, let's try this one. And of course we can interact with the software instrument. So cool. 
哭哦。That is so cool. Oh man, that's cool. Let's try moving the sensor to a different leaf. We'll move it up here. That is so cool. Again, we've got an instant movie soundtrack. So that's what it does. So there you have it, folks. That was the Biotron from Playtronica, a cool little um, mini, mini controller that's designed to interface with plants and other bioelectric things. Really cool, really fun concept, very easy to use. And uh, you saw a little bit and heard a little bit of it there. Now, if you're interested in one, you'll be able to purchase these from Playtronica.com. But at the time that I'm recording this, it's not yet up on their website. Now it might be by the time I release the video. So if it is, I will have a purchase link in the description below. So you can check that out if you are curious. But I do again want to throw a special thank you to Playtronica for partnering with my channel and others to help launch this device. That's really cool of them. If you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does affect the YouTube algorithm and it really does help out the channel. So I would appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon.